play out time and again for NJIT students who come here with intelligence, diligence, perseverance, and who go on to achieve incredible success, incredible success. In fact, and this was mentioned earlier, a new college ranking tool from the New York Times rates NJIT, and I would be happy with 20 or 10, but number one, number one in all college <laughs> Cal Berkeley, Georgia Tech, UCLA, when you prioritize three factors, three factors, high alumni earnings, alumni earnings, economic mobility, and academic profile. If you take these three factors, alumni earning, economic mobility, and academic profile, NJIT is the number one public university in the United States, according to New York Times. measure the success of our alumni because I felt that institutional ranking should be based on the impact of the alumni and this one speaks to that so I'm really happy for that. Okay, so it's clear that NGIT makes leaders from this example. We have so many alumni including members of our board of trustees and overseers present today who are leaders of major corporations and whose influence shapes the entire industry. Entire industry. We have faculty members and alumni who have attained fellowships in prestigious organizations like the National Academy of Inventors, the National Academy of Engineering, and many, many more academies. And we produce individuals who became leaders in the communities in which they live and they work. Hence, our ability to make innovations, opportunities, and leaders is why NGIT is the greatest producer of tech talent and knowledge in our entire region. In our entire region. Now, it is my duty to build upon this university's incredible history of success because NGIT does not stand still. During my first year as president, we have embarked on a critical effort to enhance our strategic plan that will guide us for many years into the future, many years. In doing so, we have engaged members of the campus community, our alumni, government and industry leaders, and other supporters of NGIT. The exercise has yielded six priority areas of focus. Six priority areas of focus. I'll mention them briefly. Number one, student advancement and student success. We will increase the engagement and retention of our diverse student population, develop a holistic campus experience, and grow experiential learning opportunities, and become globally known for student achievement. Number two, faculty success. We will grow our talented faculty community, including integrated lecturers and adjuncts who will receive support for academic excellence. I promise you that. Number three, research, innovation, and entrepreneurship as we strengthen our position as a premier research university, we will advance collaborative research, cultivate an innovative ecosystem, and catalyze commercialization. Number four, digital transformation. Who would not like that? We will embrace the digital revolution that is upon higher education in ways that open the world to business and industry partnership. We need to remove the constraint of space and time and use digital capability to engage the entire world. Through a human-centered digital experience, our technological foundation will drive transformation and harness advancement. Number five, engage community. By nurturing an environment of belonging and infusing community engagement in our culture, we will foster a dynamic ecosystem that will generate impact institutionally, locally, regionally, nationally, and globally. Last but not least, we have to invest in our future. To further our mission, we need to steward, grow, invest, and diversify university resources in a strategic and fiscally sustainable manner to ensure a vibrant 
thriving campus community now and far, far out into the future so that our kids, our grandkids can enjoy this institution and benefit from it. Ultimately, I believe our enhanced strategic plan will increase the slope of NJIT's already rapid ascent toward becoming one of the nation's preeminent public polytechnic research universities. As we complete this strategic planning process and move towards implementation, I want to take this very special moment to issue a call to everyone here, to issue a call to everyone here and anyone else interested in NJIT. This is a call for me. Join me, join me in practicing what I call the three eyes. The three eyes. To be and remain number one eye informed about NJIT. Please be informed about NJIT. Number two, involved with NJIT. Involved with NJIT. And number three, most important of all, you're invested in NJIT through your time, your talent, and your treasure. Invested in NJIT through your time, talent, and treasure. With your support, advocacy, and partnership, NJIT will continue to be a place where talented, hardworking students fulfill their potential, achieve their dreams, launch themselves into rewarding lives and careers, and through initiatives like the new Highlander Promise Scholarship Program that we're unveiling, which will make NJIT education tuition free, tuition free for students from the lowest income brackets. We will supercharge this university's long-running engine of opportunity. Together, we will push NJIT toward a new horizon, where students from all backgrounds not only gain access to a world-class education, but also thrive and grow into the next generation of engineers, architects, scientists, technologists, innovators, and of course, leaders. Leaders. Many of you know that I was drawn to NGIT by its amazing trajectory, its vibrant community of learners and scholars, and its history of delivering social and economic impact while producing alumni who are leaders in their fields. I am an extremely fortunate person. I'm really fortunate, truly. Honored to be given the extraordinary opportunity. I'm really an ordinary person, like many of you, but I've been given an extraordinary opportunity to lead the next phase of NGIT's impressive history. Thank you all for being my partners, and I thank God for His grace, for His wisdom on this exciting journey. Thank you.
ninth president of the New Jersey Institute of Technology.